at exactly 28 minutes past 3 on 11th July year 2024, the President of Kenya, His Excellency William Samoy Ruto, with the powers given to him by Article 152 and 152B of Constitution of Kenya, has dissolved the Cabinet. To dismiss with immediate effect all the Cabinet Secretaries and Attorney General of the Republic public of Kenya, of the cabinet of Kenya. It's only Musalia Mudavadi, the Prime CS and the CS for Foreign Affairs, and Masi Kiru Wanjau, who is the secretary to the cabinet that has been spared. And of course, the office of the deputy president, Rigadi Kashagwa, has not been affected in any way. This is the greatest move that Ruto's regime has made in less than two years of its ruling making history in the government of Kenya. The last time that was had is during the Moi Kibaki's regime. In his speech, Ruto's plan is to build a broad-based government by slashing areas where public money is wasted and also listen to the outcry of Kenyans and perhaps the Gen Z. Do you think this, this, this is the best method? to dissolve the cabinet and do you think this is going to be effective in the plan to listen to the cry of Kenyans who are not happy of his regime? It seems the protest led by Gen Z have borne fruits and has worked. This voice, the voice of the people has been somehow heard by President Ruto. As a result, the principal secretaries will now guide the government operations during this change as we wait to see who will fill these spaces of the cabinet in some coming time subscribe to this channel and comment who you think will be part of the next cabinet and why he or she fits in this is the liquid mobility where we inform and entertain